Earth is a dynamic, ever-changing system, and its surface is constantly being reshaped. Did you know that many landforms you can see today result from slow changes over many years? Some of these changes are related to the processes of weathering and erosion. Weathering refers to the breaking down of a rock into smaller and smaller pieces, either by physical forces or by changing or dissolving the minerals that make up a rock. Very small pieces or grains of soil, sand, and rock are known as sediment. Erosion is the natural process of taking these grains and carrying them away, also called transporting. When sediment grains settle someplace away from their original site, it's known as deposition. Water, wind, and ice are the primary causes of the processes of weathering, erosion, transport, and deposition. On Earth, Water is the most common and important agent of erosion. Raindrops move soil grains from the ground and chip away at a rock surface. Flowing water can carry sediment over long distances. Larger rocks and sand grains sink to the bottom of the river's stream, while smaller grains can continue traveling along with the water. If you've seen how water can carry away soil after a rainstorm, you are witnessing an example of eroded sediment being transported by water. The power of water erosion can be easily seen in coastlines, canyons, and valleys. Canyons and valleys form where flowing water erodes the surrounding land, creating landforms with walls that slope towards the river or stream. Palo Duro Canyon in North Texas, sometimes called the Grand Canyon of Texas, formed by water flowing for millions of years. Even though the Palo Duro Canyon is mostly dry today, clear signs of water erosion can still be seen. Water can create landforms by depositing sediments too, especially where a river flows into an ocean or lake. This slows down the flowing water enough that sediment grains fall and are deposited. Landforms called deltas form where rivers encounter standing bodies of water. The famous Mississippi Delta forms where the Mississippi River flows into the Gulf of Mexico. The Mississippi River carries large amounts of muddy sediment that is deposited, creating the Delta's spectacular wetland landscape. Do you know about NASA's Perseverance rover? Perseverance? is exploring an ancient delta on Mars. Ocean waves and currents also move sediment along the coastline, creating landforms such as barrier islands, like Galveston Island near Houston, Texas. In the next videos in this series, we'll talk about how wind and ice also shape the Earth's surface. I hope you'll join us.